Welcome to a special Halloween edition of Entercon Labs. This time, we're going to be testing PPE. And we're bringing in some heavy hitters, Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. We're going to be testing hard hats and seeing if uh, they'll protect from the hack and slash of those two movie villains. So today we're testing a type two uh, hard head. So right now we're gonna test on our ballistic head that we have. This is a full imitation head with imitation blood, uh, brain matter, skull. Pretty gruesome for a slasher movie, but that's what we gotta do. Um, so we're gonna be dropping this brick on top of this and see if there's any impact or any damage to the skull. The Type 2 Class C hard hat is built to handle impacts from both the top and the sides, dispersing the force away from the skull. So now that we got the hard hat secured to our uh, fake head, we're going to perform a test drop of about 5 feet with a brick on top of the helmet. So let's see how that holds up. 3, 2, 1, drop. All right, so on the outside of the helmet, it really stood up. You could see that there's barely any damage to the top. If anything, just a couple scratches where it impacted. So it was a solid hit straight down. On the skull itself, there's not a crack, nothing. It's not like, it's like nothing happened to this. Uh, so this really holds up well for any impact and drop, uh, really does the job and uh, protects the employee from any hazards that are out there above head or coming from the side. So we're going to take this brick test a little bit of the extreme. I'm actually going to get up on the ladder and drop this from about nine feet up and see how the skull uh, handles the impact with that protection of the, the hard hat on it. All right, three, two, one. From approximately nine feet up, we saw that the brick actually took a serious bounce on. It was like almost like dropping on a trampoline. So let's see how uh, if there's any damage. So far, there's not a scratch on the skull. So this helmet is really uh, protecting our our skull here, and we're going to move on to the actual hack and slash. So. This is what you get when you ask an engineer to replicate the awesome power of Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. You get the Slashmaster 5000. Let's show you what we're working with. This is our custom-built contraption, a spring-loaded arm featuring two 100-pound springs. It's winched back and released with a quick-release mechanism designed to mimic the power behind our favorite slasher movie weapons. With two 100-pound springs, we're delivering a significant amount of force, around 200 pounds of tension multiplied by our long lever arm. So when it's ratcheted up, we have the butcher knife on the end, and we'll be replacing that with the machete. But right now, we want to test and see how the contraption works. In three, two, one. All right, so it looks like we got a solid hit. The knife went uh, directly through this thing. It kind of cut it like uh, you expect it would with a huge knife and a uh, pumpkin. All right, on for the real test. First one, the Michael Myers kitchen knife. And in honor of this, we're bringing out a special guest, Michael Myers himself. Creepy as hell. So in three, two, one. Let's see what we got. So right now, that knife went clear through. The helmet is damaged and a clean slice. But what we do have on our skull there's only minimal damage to the skin. It didn't actually go through um, the skull at all. All right, so after multiple tests, we see that the actual hard hat uh, does not stand to the knife itself. But 
We really need to see if this is going to go through our ballistic skull. So the hell with this thing. Let's just do it. In three, two, one. Woo! All right. We got a direct hit on this one, and we could see we got some blood and ooze. So maybe it was the helmet that, uh, the hard hat that helped out. But uh, our contraption of the slasher, Slash Master 5000 worked great. Uh, we got the, the knife right through the skull. And uh, I think Michael Myers will be approving of this. All good. Now let's move on to Jason. Jason's machete swings in the movies would deliver a massive amount of force. With the arm multiplying the 200 pounds of spring tension, we can see just how devastating this kind of impact would be. Okay, so for our final test today, we're testing out Jason's favorite tool, the machete. So what we're gonna do is more of a chopping action, but again, I think a lot of uh, the internet says that Jason's much more powerful than uh, Michael Myers. So we actually cranked this up a little bit more so the Slashmaster 5000 uh, has a couple extra uh, cranks on it. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go through the skull or through the, um, the hard hat. So, Jason, take it away. In three, two, one. With this test, we actually got a solid hit on it. The hard hat protected the skull, but did break its neck. So um, I think the blunt force of this is more of the trauma than the actual uh, slice and slash. Um, so th surprising, this, this hard hat worked incredibly well against Jason. So let's take it off, set it up, and see what happens when we don't have a, a hard hat on. Okay, so let's see if we can finish the skull off. We know that we already broke its neck, uh, but let's see if we can actually get it to go through. Um, that helmet worked wonders and uh, protected it, but now let's just see if uh, what Jason's gonna do to this thing. Three, two, one. So that was full on impact without the helmet. You could totally see the difference between the deflection of the having the helmet on and then without the helmet. So not only did it do a major laceration on the top of the skull, but it's actually cracked through and I could see, uh, I could see, oh, that's gonna make me throw up, some brain matter in here. Okay, let's try this again. Three, two, one. Well, I would have to say it's almost the exact same spot that we did before, but this is fantastically gross. That's downright macabre. All right, so I think our conclusion is, um, in my opinion, just my opinion alone, if I was going up after Jason, I would definitely want a hard hat on. It, the machete actually just deflected off. Skull was fine. Yeah, it broke its neck a little bit, but hey, you might survive that. Now, on the other hand, the kitchen knife went straight through the helmet uh, multiple times, so I would not take my chances with that. So that concludes our episode today. Um, you know, just want to say at Intercom, we take safety very seriously, so this is a good one to do. Um, we use PPE all the time, no matter what we are doing on the shop floor, whether it's building custom industrial control panels or medium and low voltage switch gear or power packages for data centers. Um, we take this stuff seriously. We have 2,000. Uh, 731 days without a lost time incident as of this video filming. 
Um, so that's a record that we're proud of. But thanks again for watching this and uh, check out more of our videos. Thank you.